Isn't it beautiful? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a momentous occasion. It is a Thursday night. Nothing terribly interesting about a Thursday night, but for me, it is the day before D&D, which is a Friday ritual that me and my friends have had for some time, and I just... We don't have it tomorrow, and I thought, man, I don't know what to do. I'm going to do this. I've been meaning to do a Let's Play for some time, and here we are. Uh, note, this game was brand new uh, when I first picked it up, and it wasn't terribly <laughs> polished. Uh, I liked it a lot. I just nothing was going on. You'd arrive in a ship, and you'd have nothing to know, and you'd just beam down to some planet and just start making a place. Um, it's developed since then. I have not played it in a long time. Uh, my brother played a little bit and said, hey, you gotta get up on there again. It's totally changed. So, here we are. So I'm gonna cre create a character. Uh, I'm gonna go with a human because they've got like bird people and Planet of the Ape style plant person. I mean, and then this. I don't know what that is. Pretty cool. Nova Kid. Sounds exciting. Uh, there it is. Interstellar gas bag people. <laughs> so I just thought, let's just go with something we know. Uh, human with a McDonald's shirt. Um, let's randomize this a bit. Oh, the choices. This is important, everyone. I'm going to role play the best I can. Uh, someone uh, of this, of this type, you know, let's, let's get into the stars. Let's discover because oh, this is awesome. Totally today. Um, two more clicks and then we're picking this person. Here we go. Okay. So I love the stance. That's pretty exciting. Let's make him pretty close to my stink skin color. They don't have transparent. All right. That's good enough. Uh, <laughs> the hair is awesome. Okay. This is awesome. I love creating characters, and I actually, in like Skyrim or Fallout or things of that nature, I will create a character dozens of times before I even play anything. So, here we are. Uh, that's pretty close. Let's just keep it kind of a, a reasonably nice color. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Um, let's give him something a little bit more adventure. Oh, that's just color. That's not going to give me anything. Uh, this. <laughs> yeah, one of those red shirts. I'm not a Star Trek fan, but uh, this is going to go about as well as someone who's wearing a red shirt in Star Trek. So, um, yeah, let's <laughs> let's get going on that. Yes, we got to have the gray slacks. And Finn, I think that is a, is a great one. But I'm going to call him something else. Uh, let's call him Frodo. Frodo. That, can, that looks like a Frodo. Um, eat to survive. Drop by. This is new. We only have like casual, I think. But I think I'm going to go with this. Just for the kicks and giggles. Uh, yeah. Ooh, this music. It's getting me going. I'm just going to go with survival. I think that's good. Okay. That's new. Uh, we didn't have an intermission before, so. But if you're wondering what personality is, it's stance. <laughs> It's like doing a dance. Um, that. I don't know about the bow-legged thing. That's more my style right here. Let's do that. Okay. He's beautiful. He's beautiful, everyone. Here goes. First time ever in the new edition. It's a dangerous business, Frodo. Going in, out your door. You step on the road. And if you don't keep your feet, there's not knowing where you might be swept off to. Different planet, maybe. Full of terrible Pokemon-like creatures. If you've never played this game, it's it's actually quite relaxing. I picked it up a long time ago uh, when it first came out. I loved it. Okay, here we go. Wake up. I will call him Autonomous. Wake up. You have overslept. Oh, what? This is vastly different. My ship is huge. I'm so cute. Okay, this is weird. There's a dog. Can I have that dog, please? Please, please, please. I wonder if this is very loud. For me, it's loud. I can touch things. <laughs> okay, I'm really gonna enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this too. It's very different than what I've done before on this channel, but I always said I was gonna do a Let's Play, so here we are.
Yeah, enough of that. Um. Nope. All right. Is this as fast as I go? Looks like my guy's been doing squats. I think we all should stop and notice. Hmm? Uh, did you just make that sound? There. Hi, Brodo. Hmm? There. Hmm? That's humans. That's exactly what we sound like. Uh, protector shirt. Pants. Trousers. Sorry. Old England. Oh, I just got my red shirt. Okay. All right, let's do this. Graduation ceremony. Is that what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm always late. If I was a wizard, I'd arrive precisely when I mean to. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can buy stuff out of that, but I don't have money. This is different. Okay. We're on a... Sp is this space station? What is this? It's beautiful. Hey. Well, that's, uh... That's hard stuff. So, I'm confused, because we started in a ship before... Oh, I want to smell the flower. I... I am wearing the flower. Well, this is great. Let's say, uh, Frodo here. He, he worked a while on the space station, and I uh, thought he'd start wearing flowers in his hair, to much dismay of the elders. <laughs> Who are you? Hmm? Ceremony. Okay, so it must be some kind of graduation. I see. Oh, is this her uniform? Huh? Oh, that's a thing. I want that thing. I can't get it. Oh, gosh. That's what I sound like when I'm eating. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry. I was talking too loud. <laughs> My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectors grow. For over 500 years, we've stood with exposition. I'm proud here. On Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Also, we're on Earth. <laughs> it looks weird. Our task to protect the fellow beings, to support house, and it can I skip this as sea guide, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots and present to each of our greatest tool ellipsis. The matter manipulator. Uh, what was that? Oh, sweet, fancy Moses. Oh, God. Oh, the crunch sound. You, graduate, take the minute and run. Oh, that was a that was a squishy, squishy sound. Um, it's not safe, you think? Well, I do remember that. We had a matter manipulator, but we just had it. Okay. Uh, fine. Okay, this is... this is happening. We're just... we're just going. Okay, uh... How do I clip it? Oh, okay. Alright. Scrolly woolly. It appears the ceiling has collapsed. Oh no! Alright, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I guess it wants me to just get through here. I'll take some dirt from my home world and, and take it to wherever I go next. Plant it. Hopefully a new world will grow. This is fine. Oh, memes. Oh, okay. Scansha, the room beyond is flooded. Also, I can see it. Oh, gosh. Probably need to turn on the audio. It's a bit loud for me. Is it loud for you? It's loud for me. Oh, wow. This is so different. What's that? It tattered. Yeah, ha. Ah. Is that something? Can I get up here? That, oh my gosh, it's a thing. <gasps> it's a cape! Yes! I don't much like the yellow. <laughs> it's so cool. I probably would just miss that. I was just looking up at the time, looking at this tentacle wrapping around. Okay, this is a problem. Uh, this, is, this is not good. I know how to get things from chests. Broken broadsword. Why do I have it? I mean, I'll take it. It's better than no broadsword. I mean, you're right. Yes. Yes. Ha! Okay, so some tentacles are bad. What? That was loud. Okay, I'm gonna take all those meds. Short cargo 
Okay, I remember that plane. See, this is this. I was pointing at it. You can't see it because you're watching. I mean, you can see it, but you can't see me pointing. Oh no, Earth has been destroyed. So did that come from under the ground? Because I think if we're this advanced, you think we didn't look down at all? Stop out. The beginning of the end. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. If that's the title. Anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more. Please reboot the system. No, oh, I was sleeping. No, oh, what? Eyes closed. There's a cat in here. And it loves me. Hello, kitty. Hey. Okay, guys. I need the comments. I need a name for this cat. And I need its backstory. Tell me if it's if it's if it's like a druid type thing. It like, watch it someday. It comes to life and it's like, I've been your friend for years. Okay. Oh, gosh. What have I done? Press the button. Okay, that's good. I'm Sale, your ship-based artificial intelligence. So how are you talking to me before, Sale? I'm also programmed to offer you information and advice. Oh, great. The ship oh, I skipped something. The ship's navigation systems were damaged. You think? How did we even get here? Mysterious reward? Beam down the plant's surface using the teleporter. Well, the okay. This is where it started before, everybody. This is where it all began last time. Um, anyway, there's going to be relatively short episodes, uh, just because the editing power of my computer at the time, which I'm not a gamer uh, on computers, I'm more of a console man. Ruthion Rest 2 dash dash C. You know, what, you know what really, really makes you feel like you're safe here is uh, landing and finding a tombstone. Just right off the bat. I mean, can I, take, I can take it. There's flowers. Is there like a person under here? That would be, that'd be pretty gnarly if there's a person under here. <laughs> okay, just gonna check. I'm sorry! That's a lie. There's no one there at all. They're just trying to scare me. I mean, it's an engraved tombstone. Maybe it's like, here lies everyone you knew. <laughs> this, this music, though beautiful, is kind of loud for me. I think I'm just gonna turn it off. Yeah. I see you discovered some seeds. I should just planting them. Thanks. Thanks, Sale. I didn't know how farming worked. Okay, so there are snails here, so that's comforting. Some kind of earth-like place. Look, a plant. What kind of plant? It's the... Oh, gosh, it spits at me. Oh, that's not a plant at all. And I'm poisoned. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, come on. Excellent. Aid. <laughs> Okay, well, the first battle went pretty well. A venom sample. Okay, here's the thing. So, Frodo arrives on this planet, alien world, and it, it didn't say where I was, but apparently Stargate is here <laughs> when Cthulhu is involved. Was that Cthulhu that attacked us? Archaic energy source. I will patch you through to it. You picked up this message. You have much. Oh, you must have found the ancient gateway. There's a lot of exposition here, but please use it and come find me. You can power the thingamajig. I've scanned core fragments. Okay, so I need core fragments to use the Stargate. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what that is. Ah! Demon fly! Does everything on this planet want to kill me? Oh, gosh. There's a, like a, a wind-up time for hitting. Ha! Okay. Well, I need a shelter. Uh, I'm going to use my planet's soil to do so. And I'm going to plant it right here. Oh. I'm going to plant it right here. Use the soil from... Oh. Uh, the, you, you, use the soil from my earth. And I'm going to make a little house to rest in. Because Frodo had a traumatic experience at his graduation. As most of us do. I don't know what this is. Oh, well, with that. I, okay. Note to self never touch the flowing eggs. Oh, is it gonna kill me? Did I just flat out die? Is this it? Oh, no! How do you use these? Uh, I mean, is this, is this it? I just die? Okay. Never touch eggs. Never trust anything again. Right. First episode. <laughs> Almost died. I'm gonna plant the grass of my people. And and it will grow. And 
and it will be earth grass. And I will make my hole or tomb, whichever comes first. Do I have that tombstone still? I'm gonna use that as a as a something. A, a memento of better days. When my planet lived and there was a thing. And I put it right there. Boom. Lovely. Well I mean, that's it for this episode. I'm just going to uh, uh, do some things to it and then post it and blah, blah, blah. And they're going to start to come upload. I don't know when they will, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.